What do you do if you want to travel this gorgeous planet but don't want your carbon emissions to ruin the very thing you're traveling to see? Does flying around the world help ruin it? Carbon emissions are rising alongside the popularity of the wanderlust lifestyle. You know what that is. This. Because here's the problem. We have to cut our carbon emissions to zero. Rampant airplane travel is part of the problem. Please subscribe to this channel and keep watching to the end where I let you know what you can do about this problem. In New York, I know a guy who literally travels somewhere new each week. In one month, he traveled from New York to Tulum and back, from New York to Copenhagen and Malta and back, from New York to Pittsburgh to Mexico City and back, all without a care in the world, none of it for business. I'm personally struggling with this right now. I really want to go to Chiang Mai to hang out with happy elephants and volunteer, but I really don't want to emit that amount of carbon. And everyone has heard that Greta Thunberg is part of a movement in the EU that's calling for people to travel less on airplanes. So what's the deal with airplane travel? One flight from the east coast of the United States to Europe generates the same carbon emissions as if you commuted to and from work in a fuel efficient car for an entire year. Basically, airlines know they have a problem, but flight travel is increasing, so they're not pressured to change. The UN aviation body forecasts that airplane emissions, which are right around like 900 million metric tons right now, are set to triple by 2050. So even though airplane travel emits 2.5% globally, which is less than power plants and cars, its growth is predicted to be about a quarter of our carbon budget. And it's the third largest source of US emissions. That means we have to care about how much we travel as individuals. Greta is right. We can't be emitting any more carbon. Some airplanes are doing something, but not enough. JetBlue announced that it was going to be the first airline to go carbon neutral by July 2020 by investing in projects such as forest conservation. The airline is also exploring new ways to cut emissions like investing in new technologies. Scandinavian Airlines aims to power all of its domestic flights with biofuel by 2030. And in December 2019, the world's first electric flight took place outside of Vancouver. There are about 170 electric aircraft being developed around the world. New tech and new fuel is key. At the end of the day, carbon offsets are controversial because polluters get a free pass. Many are scams, like trees not getting planted, and it doesn't get to the root of the problem. Even if we stop all of our carbon emissions today, the planet will still continue to warm and will still face the ramifications of climate. Offsets don't address the lack of cleaner transportation options. So now is really not the time to be a wanderlust without protecting the planet that you're wandering to. Key to this is getting electric planes just like electric cars. But to have those, we need to improve battery storage and regulations. Boeing is working on the SugarVolt plane, which uses electricity and fuel, kind of like a hybrid. Biofuels are also cool, but again, they need to scale up. I'm leading an initiative to pressure the airlines to use the money that we're throwing at them to create new technologies that do not emit carbon. At the end of the video is a link for you to sign a petition and take the very first little step. And there will be more. So what do you do if you have to fly somewhere in this dinosaur petroleum industry and can't telecommute? Here are a few things to really keep in mind. Don't fly first or business. Those fancier tickets generate two to four times the amount of emissions as economy. A round trip flight from Toronto to London Heathrow produces 9.5 tons of emissions in first or business, and it only produces 4.9 tons in economy. That's because business and first seat fewer people, and so the airplane is flying with less of us. Fly direct as much as humanly possible. It uses less fuel because 25% of emissions are on takeoff and landing. Take daytime flights because clouds generated by airplanes trap more heat, but only at night. Bring your own snacks and your own water bottle. The amount of waste from airlines adds to their footprint. I know you wanna see the world, so do I. That's why we have to do everything we can to protect it. We have a ton of power as consumers, so we can pressure this industry to change. This is Gung Ho Eco. I have been away for a little bit because I've been super busy with shoots over the years project, which you should also like and subscribe to, but I'm gonna be bringing you more original content right here. So please like, subscribe, and share.